hello what's going on guys uh today i've been i've been getting asked a lot we what are my settings right i'm at getting asked here on youtube i'm getting asked on the twitch streams a ton getting asked on my tiktok all that stuff speaking of which i've been live pretty much every day on twitch so check that link out down in the description below if you want to see the, all the live streams and everything but i figure i'd give you guys a settings video tutorial whatever you want to call it today so obviously you want to change your settings you can do it in game but it actually doesn't save so i highly recommend getting it set before you go into diamond dynasty you can go up here to the top right settings settings and we're going to start with gameplay difficulty is whatever you want to set it to this only really affects the offline modes not necessarily diamond dynasty but when we really want to get started, my biggest number one tip is to use strike zone hitting view. Also strike zone two or strike zone three or high, whatever works, but the strike zone in general, my favorite is just the standard strike zone. In play view offense, I always have it at dynamic. I never change it. That's what I use. A lot of people like medium, but I guess medium changed this year. Either way, I, I recommend dynamic. That's just what I do. Ball trail is daytime only. Hitting interface. This is the second biggest thing get used to zone hitting if you really want to get better at this game zone hitting is the move i hear a lot of people that use directional still or even just uh what is a classic or it's called timing now either way zone hitting get used to it practice at it and your game will improve 100 percent if you start getting good at this i know it's tough at first but give it some time for the input type you want buttons analog type doesn't matter if you are using buttons so don't even touch that i don't personally use the pci anchor but for a lot of you guys especially if you're just starting on zone you may want to try the pci anchor for those of you that don't know what the pci anchor is it just came out this year essentially you're able to anchor or put your start your pci in one spot and it'll hold it there for you and then you can move it from there so say like you have issues getting to the the up and in pitches as a right-handed hitter you can set it to just sit at up and in and then you can move it from there so that helps out a little bit uh, if you use pci anchor the dots on or off it's just dependent it just shows you where the anchor is if you don't use the anchor then don't even worry about this it doesn't matter now i get asked about my pci a lot for those of you who don't know what the plate coverage indicator is that is the zone you move around in zone hitting in the strike zone a lot of zones in that sentence right there but the pci that i use i use centers circles the center doesn't matter it's just whatever you prefer i like circles i don't use an inner now a lot of you may be asking why the when you know it's in the inner that means it's when it's actually gonna be fair the outer just means you have a better chance of fouling it away etc especially when you get up to the higher difficulties i'm not super cracked out i don't have pristine placement so i just get a little more comfortable when i see a bigger pci so it's just more of a comfortability thing and that's the thing about the p it's all about your comfortability your preference etc play around with it mine may not work for you and you may find a different one that works for you play around with it the outer is the outer pci so like if you get it within the outer you have a better chance of foul balls bad contact i use starfighter i like the yellow color at 60 percent transparency and if you want a part to fade out i actually have the outer fade out when the pitch is coming in so it starts with an outer right and i get an idea of how big the pci is and how big of a, a zone that i can use but once he starts to wind up that outer pci fades and i just have the dots so i'm not distracted by a lot of extra color all right moving over to pitching same as the uh hitting with the difficulty difficulty doesn't really matter unless you're playing like road of the show franchise etc interface pinpoint get good at pinpoint i'm telling you guys your game will improve so much if you can get used to pinpoint it's a little more difficult this year but you're able to dot if you get really good and comfortable with it if you do not use pinpoint the next one i would recommend would be pure analog or meter there are a lot of people that say use pulse pulse is terrible pulse essentially is just full-on rng it's a little less rng than classic where you just click the button and you go but if you want as much of like control of where you want to put the ball I would highly recommend using pinpoint and then meter or your analog and get pulse out of your settings pitch feedback on that i just leave that on pitching view i like outfield it's similar to broadcast but on broadcast depending on what stadium you're in it'll change like your angle i like having just one steady angle that's why i use outfield if you want to get behind the catcher a lot of people like to play on the same uh view that they have for their hitting view so a lot of people use strike zone I personally like outfield though for the just like the me streaming and making videos you guys see it from like a normal view i highly recommend making the pitching ball marker pitch trail on 
it starts out defaulting at fade leave it on that way it doesn't fade away when you're trying to hit your spot when it, it, basically what this ball marker is is like when you choose your pitch it'll like show where it's going in the break etc if it's fading it'll show it for a second then fade away and you can't see it anymore if you leave it on then you're able to just like really set in your sights where you want to throw it and then you can start your pitch confidence on pitch delay on api off i mean this stuff doesn't really matter in diamond dynasty it's kind of defaulted fielding wise i recommend button accuracy if you guys can see the trend here i like having as much control as possible i don't like having too much rng random number generated you know that that affecting my game that's why i use the most interface heavy hitting and pitching and not obviously i'm going to use it for the same throwing in the fielding button accuracy you have the meter try to hit it in the green if you don't use that use buttons i don't know much about pure analog but i wouldn't recommend it throwing meter on obviously if you're gonna have button accuracy fielding decision assist i don't even touch all this stuff in play view defense i use dynamic another thing that i don't really touch i keep it pretty simple throw canceling on i like like i said full ability to do whatever i need to do so throw canceling keep on that way if i want to cancel my throw i can uh one button dive jump off i leave that off uh auto reaction i like that a lot it's just a, a little assist because you, sometimes you don't get the chance to react on a diving play catch position indicator i use track ball a lot of people like drifting ball drifting ball is like uh in the outfield you know you have the ball that moves and all that back in like the older games that's what you know is the normal track ball came out last year it's that blue line that i use and a lot of people ask swan how do you get that orange ball trail when the ball is hit it's from this so if you guys want that use track ball defensive shift manual i'm telling you guys most people don't pitch to the shift in this game so just turn the defensive shift off i'm telling you if i come if i face you in a game and you have auto shift on i will go against the shift every single time it's my goal i love doing it i find it very easy to go opposite field in this game i highly recommend turning the shift off and if you want to put a shift on you can do it manually and in terms of everything else i mean i strike zone on obviously uh all this stuff really doesn't matter in diamond dynasty and if you really want to uh get into it for franchise or road to the show uh at the top it shows exactly what it does and everything but i don't change any of the stuff personally and lastly before i finish up here i do change my audio settings for like recording videos and stuff i don't want the music or the pa volume on i keep commentary fairly low i like it still be there sometimes sound effects all the way up though i want you guys to hear the perfect perfect crack and then crowd volume leave it on a little bit adds to the moment etc but yeah that's pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i really do hope it helps let me know down in the comments if you have any questions i'll try to answer as many as i can if this video did help you please hit that like button it helps that out a ton it pushes it out to more people that are actually probably asking what are the right settings etc and make sure you guys are subbed we're triple uploading every day for a while now so make sure that noti bell is on that way you guys know when these videos go live i appreciate you guys hope it helped I'll see you next time. Goodbye.